Text Game presents Evaluating Excursions, Part 2. The center of force trajectory can give the dentist an idea whether or not the patient has good anterior guidance. The anterior guidance patterns begin at the C line and end at the D line of the graph. Here is a visual of ideal trajectories for a left lateral, protrusive, and right lateral excursion. Next is a demonstration of common trajectories seen in patients. A horizontal trajectory that may indicate group function. A backwards moving trajectory that shows a posterior interference. A turn or a looping trajectory can indicate balancing side interferences. And finally a combination trajectory that has two or more of the previous patterns. Here are some examples of the center of force icon and trajectory during a left lateral excursion. The first example shows the force moving smoothly and directly towards the anterior left region of the arch. This indicates immediate posterior separation and a smooth transition of force implying good anterior guidance. The second example shows the trajectory curving downwards towards the posterior right side of the arch. This indicates poor anterior guidance, possibly requiring a steepening of the guidance angle. Patients may be predisposed to TMD symptoms of fractions and mobility in this situation because of the lateral forces from the interfering teeth. The third example shows group function because the anterior guidance fails to disclude the posterior teeth. The trajectory initially moves anteriorly left and then turns downwards towards the posterior left teeth. This also may suggest hyperactive muscular TMD symptoms, occlusal wear, and tissue recession. The next example shows that the trajectory moves in two separate segments. First, horizontally left, indicating group function, and then vertically, indicating the guidance has taken over. Patients with this L-shaped center of force trajectory can be predisposed to hyperactive muscular TMD symptoms, clusal wear, and recession. In the last example, during a left excursive movement, the force initially moves horizontally, but quickly loops around back towards the right posterior teeth. This results from there being a significantly forceful balancing interference present on tooth number two. Patients with this looping center of force trajectory are predisposed to hyperactive muscular TMD symptoms, tissue recession, abfractions, and mobility.